What's up guys, the tech spot here, and where even do I start? Like, where do I start? This is crazy. So last night, I was editing and uploading a video on iOS 13.3 Uncovered Jailbreak Update, but today I woke up and we have even more crazy news, okay, that blows this news out of the water and out of proportions. So I'm gonna be talking about that in this video today. So I'm gonna kind of combine those two updates because there is some information in my previous Jailbreak Update video that's about to upload that I want to share that leads up to this new information. And basically, we might get the iOS 13.3 uncovered jailbreak in the next 24 hours. Th that close. I just... What? All right, so I'm first gonna start with my previous jailbreak update, as again, there is important information in there that I want to cover, and then we'll talk about the new stuff, okay? <laughs> I swear I did not put him in here. He just goes in boxes by himself. What's up guys, the tech spot here. Check this out, boom. <laughs> this is our newest member to the TTS, the tech spot clan. So put on your seatbelts because we are going on a ride. And uh, by the way, if you missed my previous video, it was on the Apple 2020 March event. Pretty interesting stuff. Link will be down below in the description. Ponto owned tweeted this. Cydia is looking good on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So that's great news. And he posted a little face right there. But anyways, it's working on the iPhone 11 Pro Max is great news. And he said that it looks great. So that means probably that has been optimized and it's full screen on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But guys, let me tell you, the last thing that you want is a buggy and unstable jailbreak. You do not want to try to jailbreak your device and end up breaking it or breaking your device because there was a bug or it wasn't fully optimized for that device. Ponto Own also tweeted out this, just got the cylinder tweak working on A13. A13 meaning the newer devices like the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. And if you guys don't know, cylinder is a tweak which basically allows to change the page animations when you swipe like this. So it's no longer just like, like a normal swipe. You can change the animation that you get when you swipe between pages. Successfully installed Snowboard and enabled the Felicity theme on A13. Snowboard is a basically a tweak which allows you to change the app icons and basically the theme and look of your device. So you can get like red and black icons or like transparent icons or it's whatever you want, whatever you, theme you install. The theme that Ponto Own installed was Felicity and he said that it is working. So that is again is great news. It shows that tweaks are working properly and he does say tweak injection seems to be working flawlessly. So again, we are so close to jailbreak. Tweaks are working. Cydia is up and working. And then he tweeted this, I will now be working on cleaning up my changes and issuing a beta build to the internal beta testers. We are almost there. Hashtag uncover. So again, guys, the jailbreak is almost complete. And once they feel it's complete, they're gonna send it over to these private beta testers. Basically, it's kind of like a closed beta for video games. So they can, they're gonna test the game. And then after it's tested and all the bugs have been ironed out, then that's when they will release the jailbreak to the general public. And that's when we will get our hands on it and be able to jailbreak with a fully stable and non-buggy version of the jailbreak. So this is great news. He wants to first push it out to these private beta testers so that we have a more more stable jailbreak that will not harm our device and will be safe to use. I, I don't know why he loves like claustrophobic areas so much, like closed spaces. It's weird. Cats are really weird animals. All right, so now that you guys are up to speed, let's talk about the new stuff. Now, this is this is crazy news, okay? Just just wait, okay? We are so close to jailbreak. So, Pwn to Own on Twitter tweeted out this, I am currently performing the last test of the uncovered jailbreak for iOS 13.0 through 13.3, 813 13 on my iPhone 11 Pro Max before sending it to the internal beta testers. Whew, okay, that was long. I wish he put a period or a comma somewhere in that tweet because... That almost killed me. That I almost died. All right, guys. Now, I did also want to mention this, but my last jailbreak update video, I did heavily emphasize that you should and you definitely want to downgrade or update to iOS 13.3 as that is a version for the uncovered jailbreak that's going to be jailbreakable. And like three hours ago, it was still being signed by Apple, so you could still update or downgrade to iOS 13.3. But just recently, like just now, I checked again and it is no longer being signed, unfortunately. Apple stopped 
signing iOS 13.3 so you can no longer update or download to iOS 13.3. So you can see on, I'm over here on IPSW.me and iOS 13.3 is no longer in the green zone. It's now in the red zone. So that means you can no longer update or downgrade to iOS 13.3, which is super unfortunate. So if you missed a chance, I really don't know what to say. I mean, I tried so hard guys. And like so many other people were saying, like even the Palmetto one was saying, let's get on iOS 13.3, like right now. I was surprised that Apple even left iOS 13.3 signed for as long as they did because they knew a jailbreak was basically coming, but they still let you update or downgrade to iOS 13.3 three up until now we are now in survival mode so don't restore your device otherwise it'll force you to update and just don't update your device stay on ios 13.3 the jailbreak is basically here and he also tweeted at this much less than a week so less than a week for this jailbreak to arrive but it gets better okay so he tweeted out internal beta testing has started hashtag uncover so my previous jailbreak update i talked about how they're gonna send this jailbreak over to the private beta testers so that they could test it iron out any other bugs that there may be and then that's when we will have the jailbreak to the general public and then we could jailbreak so moving forward sam guinclar guinclar hellar i probably butchered that he tweeted out hello hashtag uncover on ios 13.3 on a12 so it's not only working on a13 but also a12 devices so again any device that's on iOS 13.3, this jailbreak will support. So we have basically all of these private beta testers coming out with success stories of how the jailbreak is working flawlessly without any bugs, and they were able to get their device jailbroken. So this is great news. Even RA9, this guy on Twitter, has tweeted iPhone 10R on iOS 13.3 with the latest uncovered, thanks to at Pwn to Own. So even the iPhone 10R is jailbroken and working. So that's super cool. And you guys can see in the screenshot right here. Cydia looks to be full screen, so it looks to be updated and optimized for the newer devices. It's going to be full screen as I predicted in my previous jailbreak update video, which is in this video because I didn't upload it separately, it's all in one. And then Sam Gukular also tweeted out this, tweaks, snowboard, classic badges, classic iOS, classic dock. All these tweaks are working on iOS 13.3 on this A12 device, which is iPhone XS Max. So it has this theme running and it looks super cool so you guys can see the theme running and also classic classic badges and it just looks dope and again just so many more success stories of how this jailbreak is working flawlessly and this is confirmed by these private beta testers so there doesn't look to be like too many bugs they look to be like all ironed out and this is cool too so we have Cydia okay but you guys know how there have been new Cydia package installers for tweaks like Cilio and then we had Zebra and now there's a fourth new one and this one is called AppTap so this is what it looks like here are some screenshots and and this will also be coming to the jailbreak. Now the iOS 13.3 Uncovered jailbreak will ship with Cydia. I probably just 100% guarantee that it will have Cydia right out of the box. And then from there, you can decide if you want to install other package installers like Cilio, Zebra, or app tap now all right now get this okay this is this is the kicker right here okay get ready are you ready okay here we go the pwn to own tweeted out this the uncovered jailbreak for a12 through a13 will be released in the next 24 hours if no major bugs are found so this is great news guys if no major bug is found that basically inhibits the jailbreak from working and on some devices and it's like a major bug that you do not want then it will be delayed but otherwise if no bug is found no major bug then that means the uncovered jailbreak will be released in the next 24 hours we are so close i can literally taste the jailbreak okay it tastes pretty good it's kind of chocolatey okay and again we got some more success stories on this jailbreak so that's great so sam guklar also tweeted out this so after three hours no panics no resprings no overheating no excessive ram usage and no noticeable battery drain so it looks like this jailbreak is pretty stable and non-buggy and i feel like this will be the most recent jailbreak that is the most stable compared to other previous jailbreaks the previous jailbreaks that we had have been very very buggy to the point where i just want to use stock ios but with this jailbreak i feel like it's going to be great to the point that i will just keep my jailbreak and all my tweaks will always be running without it crashing 
without it freezing, without me having to reset my device, with cellular working, with Wi-Fi working and no issues. So I think it's gonna be a very, very stable jailbreak because of all the testing and private beta testers and everything that's going into it. They're just making sure that this jailbreak is flawless. Even this guy right here, Ben Weaver says, I can confirm having the same experience. So no bugs, the jailbreak just works flawlessly, okay? So I'm super excited, super pumped. The internal private beta testing continues for a little longer and if they do not find any major bug that basically breaks the jailbreak and makes it not compatible with a certain device, something like that, then we will have the jailbreak within the next 24 hours and I will make a video tutorial on it, a full guide. You guys wanna stay tuned for that, all right? And after that, I will show you guys a bunch of tweaks, themes, and cool stuff that you can do with a jailbreak and I just cannot wait. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. There's so much cool stuff that I can do with the jailbreak and I can't wait to have all the power on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and have all those tweaks installed and have a stable jailbreak for once. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. Oh boy, so we might see the jailbreak in the next 24 hours. So if you guys want a possible release date, there you have it. If a major bug is found, which I believe won't because there's so many testers and they're all saying that it works flawlessly. But if there is a major bug that is eventually found, then I believe it'll be out in the next like two days. But I am very confident that this jailbreak will be released in the next 24 hours. Oh, okay, all right, so that bit does for me today. Hope you guys enjoy this jailbreak update. Let me know if you're excited down below in the comments. This is the tech spot and later, later.